You know, every time the flag is raised here at Camp Candy, I get a warm spot in my heart. I love this country. And that flag always reminds me of the time Camp Candy was honored on a patriotic occasion. Today, the president announced a plan to boost his administration's standings in the popularity polls. He's sending the vice president to a kid's camp. The name of the camp the vice president will visit was drawn at random. And the camp is Camp Candle. <coughs> camp Candy. Oh, oh uh, uh, sorry, that, uh, that's Camp Candy. Camp Candy? That's us! He's coming here! Yay! He's coming here! Yay! Who's coming here? Oh, the vice president of the United States! How come I never heard of him before? Because uh, he's the vice president of the United States, that's why. We've got to do something really special. Pull out all the stops. Big deal. It's not like the president's coming. But this is going to be on TV. The eyes of the world will be on us. We'll be on TV all over the country. All over the world. We'll be the number one cartoon show in Japan. A friendly country. <laughs> Ow. We'll be the number one cartoon show in France. Ah, mais oui. Je ne sais quoi. On de Cologne, Camp Candy, s'il vous plaît, escargot. Oui, oui, oui. Eh, real friendly country. <laughs> and they'll love the show in Australia. Fair dinkum, mate. Throw another shrimp on the barbie. G'day, mate. Ooh, another <laughs> friendly country. But that will be just the beginning. This is Tom Lockjaw. In the years since the Vice President's visit, Camp Candy has become a household word across the nation and around the world. John, tell us, what is it that makes Camp Candy so special, John? <laughs> Tom, why don't I just give you and our friends at home a little tour? Whoa! Great job. Whoa, whoa. Hey, hey! Yeah! Hey, John, you seen a lost golf ball around here? There's a dozen over there. Hey, come on, we'll play one of those. You know, I think a squirrel buried Jerry's golf ball for the winner. <laughs> That's a good one, Bob. <laughs> he cracks me up. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you're not seeing things. It's Bob Schmoke and the former president, Jerry Forge, right here at Camp Candy. Two avid golfers. The safest place to play is next to Jerry's golf ball. He hasn't hit that all day. Now, but seriously, you mind if we play through? Oh, please, be my guest. Hey, warn the wildlife, will you? Jerry almost beamed Mother Nature on that last fairway. Four! As you can see, Tom, at Camp Candy, we eat simple, wholesome food. We grow it all ourselves, organically. More caviar, please. We play simple outdoor games. Forty-seven, yeah! I know you should yell four, but when you're playing with Jerry, you gotta count higher. We provide the best medical care. At last! A cure for poison ivy! Yeah, good shot, Jerry. And here's something we're very proud of, Tom. It's our own Olympic Training Center. We expect several gold medals next year. And at Camp Candy, we also emphasize arts and crafts. And our campers are able to observe an amazing variety of woodland creatures. That's 
the first birdie Jerry's seen in a year. Well, you've seen it. Camp Candy one year later. And so for tonight, this is Tom Lockjaw saying... Yeah, we'll be famous. Well, if we're going to be on TV, we better get our fanny packs in gear. Let's go. <laughs> Revolting, isn't it? <laughs> Gee, boss, what's in here anyway? Only the most brilliant invention of the century, a combination hovercraft submarine. And it will come in very handy for the vice president's visit to Camp Candy. <laughs> yeah, if we can get it open by then. <laughs> you dimwit, I'll help you. <laughs> Boss, I think it works. After which, the vice president will be paying a brief visit to Camp Candy. Oh, did you hear that? The vice president's coming to Camp Candy. Camp Candy? He's coming here? Oh, get moving, Hype. We gotta straighten this place up. Uh, sure, sure. In a minute. <laughs> Herb, I told you to get up! Oh, sure, honey. I'll be right there. The excitement was building as we all geared up for the big day of the vice president's visit. Okay, campers, here's what we need to do. Nurse Molly, get the infirmary in order. I will. And I'll make my special spinach eggplant loaf for the vice president, too. Yuck! Yeah. If, if we're, we're having spinach eggplant loaf, which is delicious, by the way, <laughs> you'd, you'd better get the infirmary in order. <laughs> Make sure those trails are cleared and well marked. I don't want to leave a poison ivy out of place. Beds made, latrine scrubbed, lockers polished, dust balls washed and ironed. And I want that mess all so clean, you could eat off the tables. And I'll uh, do the important stuff. Yes, sir. No flies on me. Fleas, fleas, I got fleas, but no flies. A lot of fleas on Fleas all around me. Where did they get? What the heck? But it turns out we weren't the only ones with big plans for the vice presidential visit. Carry out plan B, and then we'll wait and see Camp Candy self-destruct. Uh, let me try that, boss. Uh, A, uh, B, and C. Boss, how'd you do that? Everybody around Camp Candy was going all out to get ready for our guest. I hope you're not ticklish. <laughs> Believe me, when it came to getting the camp in shape, no stone went un-un-un-vacuumed. <laughs> While the others concerned themselves with petty details, Binky and I worked on the biggest project of them all. Sponge. Sponge. Clamp. Clamp. Flea soap. Hey, what's your idea? We want to be on TV, too. Yeah! yeah. Uh, the coast is clear, boss. Plan B will begin. Uh, boss, what does B stand for anyway? Boom, boom. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Uh, what's gonna go boom, boss? Only the entire future of Camp Candy. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 
So, uh, where do we put the firecrackers, boss? We place them carefully among these branches, so no one will notice. John will give the vice president a tour of camp, ending with a marshmallow roast around the fire. When John lights the fire, the firecrackers will start to pop! Yeah, boom! 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 No one will know they're harmless firecrackers. John will be suspected of endangering the vice president. He'll be arrested. They'll lock him up and throw away the key. Boom, boom, boom. All right, now here's the game plan for the vice president's visit. We'll greet him at the entrance here. A great place for a photo session. Then we'll hike to the top of Finger Point here for another photo session. Freeze! Secret Service! Frisco! Ow! <laughs> hey, watch out! <laughs> hey, I'm ticklish! <laughs> Don't do that! <laughs> was that a joke? Well, uh, but, but, but you see... I think it was a joke. And I don't think it was funny. Gee, <laughs> you, you, you see, well, well, I, I was... And a joke's not funny unless I say it's funny. Is that clear? It's clear to me. Yeah, I get it. It really was a joke. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Yeah, so did I. Didn't you guys? It was the job of the Secret Service to check out everyone and everything at Camp Candy. And I do mean everything. Potts check out. Lake checks out. Trees check out. Gophers check out. Bears check out. But there was one problem we just weren't prepared for. The reporters stormed Camp Candy all day. Hey! Ow! And all night. But in the morning, things were back to normal. Uh, normal for feeding time at the hippo pits. This is even better than I expected. With all those reporters, Camp Candy will probably self-destruct. Ah! And if I'm lucky, so will you. In a short time, we had things looking pretty doggone good. What? Excuse me, but are you the head counselor here? Who, me? Yes, I'd like a few on-camera comments for our tape pile. Okay, camera is rolling. So, tell us, John, how do you plan to welcome the vice president to Cam Candy? Who? Me? You do have something planned. Who? Me? Send more money. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> What does the Vice President's visit mean to you and your cute little campers here? Who? <gasps> Me? Yeah, thank you so much. Stop, Tay. Who does he think he is? Who? Him? Who? Him? Who? Him? Who? Him, that's who. Who's that? Who? That's him. Who am I talking about? That's what I said! Who? Here we go again! Ow, my hair! Oh, oh, Look, up in the sky! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's the Vice President of the United States! Who? Shut up! Ow! That's enough of that who bit. <laughs> it's everything I ever hoped for! <laughs> Next time, boss, maybe you can hope for something a little smaller. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Not at all. But, but maybe he can see us. Did you who? Hello? Hello? It is such a thrill for me to be here at Camp Candle. Uh, 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 Camp Candy Cane. Uh, I, uh, uh, just a moment. Uh, please, sorry. Uh, excuse me? Oh. Excuse me. Hello. Ah, excuse me. Wait, please. Oh, hello. Excuse me. Ah. This is Sandra Smugly. There's been a sudden change of plans as the vice president has been called back to Washington. Let's hear his reaction. I am sorry to have to leave Camp Sanders in such a hurry. But as the last vice president said when he lost the election, <laughs> I'm out of here. I didn't see what he looked like. We didn't get on TV. Hold up your sign, Chester. Now! You hang on to your sign. What do I do now, boss? Fly! Goodbye, Mr. Vice President! Whoever you are! Uh, that's a wrap. It was a wrap, all right. A bum wrap, as far as we were concerned. Oh, this is awful. This is really, 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 really awful. Really, it is. Yeah, it's so quiet. That's right. It is quiet. Hey, this is nice. We can still roast our marshmallows. <laughs> on TV. The vice president's visit to Camp uh, Candy was cut short today when he was called back to Washington. Hey, she got the name right. The vice president was not able to complete his speech, leaving behind a crowd of disappointed onlookers. There's your elbow, John. And my blouse. Oh, oh my! Look at that! Look at that! Right there! Oh, yes! I, I, I see it! I see it! Yeah! Hey, that's something! Oh, Camp Candy on TV! Hey, look! There's more! There was one minor incident during the Vice President's short visit. Two suspicious characters were picked up by the Secret Service for questioning. No word yet on their identities. Now, back to you, Stan. <laughs> <laughs> Rex and Chester made quite a splash. I just wish Camp Candy had made more of a bang, you know. Yeah. Well, time to light the fire. There's nothing like a hot, gooey marshmallow to burn your tongue and cheer you up. <laughs> Of the day with a bang. <laughs> you get it? Looking back, it actually was a pretty good day. After all, it's not every day that you get to be on TV. <laughs> Unless you're in a cartoon show. <laughs> you get it? Uh, never mind.